this topic a science talk is frog phone f r o g phone a very interesting it was in news in december 2019 but still a very relevant is uh, you know it was published in the british ecological society journal in british ecological society journal methods in ecology and evolution that is the name of the uh, journal methods in ecology and evolution and uh, it is it described the world's first solar power it's a solar powered device it's a solar powered remote survey device it's a device a small device solar powered that can be installed at any frog pond at any frog pond and which receives a 3g or a 4g cellular network so my minimum condition is 3g or 4g network it should be there if it receives 3g or 4g network and a, this device is called frog phone so it has been developed by the two a couple of australian institutions together one is the university of new south wales it is developed by university of new south wales and uh, uh, in the university of canberra and uh, university of canberra so these two universities are the lead uh, they played the lead role in developing this frog phone so what is it so with this frog phone researchers can simply call or other they can dial into a frog habitat so this machine is already set up there it is solar powered so it has enough energy so when a call is made this phone will take you know which is already placed in the pond uh, it will take 3 minutes or oh, sorry 3 seconds 3 seconds to receive the call but during that time when the call comes this device uh, you know in that that 3 seconds the device's temperature sensors will get activated the temperature sensors will get activated and the battery then it will be able to give the, the environmental data including air temperature water temperature battery voltage all these data will be sent to the caller uh, caller's phone via text message so immediately this device will send a text message telling the temperature the air temperature water temperature battery voltage etc and also it can receive because it has a microphone in that so it can a real time frog calls i mean frogs making noise can be transmitted to the researcher through this 3g network and also this researcher can easily identify the calls of different frog species so it can identify which frog species making the noise how many frogs are there by and large because that multiple voice will be there they will be able to track that also so it's very much tracking frogs are very important so now the question is why are we doing this what are the benefits why are we doing this number one benefit is frogs are the most active uh, you know and it is an indicator of uh, you know it's a indicator of environmental health the first thing is this is an indicator of environmental health and uh, it will reduce the cost now in the, if you are having such a device the uh, you know the the researcher need not go to the pond so it will reduce the cost and the risk including the negative impact of the human presence in such field area and that to during the night time and it will allow monitoring the local frog population more frequently otherwise the during the night time you have to go some day and you know you may have to come back so here it is continuously there so it can keep tracking any time you can uh, you know record it so my, my, it can be analyzed later on so a lot of options are given so these are the biggest benefits but there are many limitations also these are then the current this phone will be using 3g or 4g network so if 3g or 4g network is not there nothing can be done secondly to listen the, to frogs in a large area several such devices will have to be set up so more devices are required and also in addition it relies on exposure to sunlight because uh, sunlight uh, solar powered so sunlight is also required if sunlight is not there proper then also it, this machine will not be able to work but the idea behind the whole thing is frogs are environmentally very susceptible so in a uh, in a in water ecosystem in an ecosystem a pond or a you know water body or a you know marshy land 
this the presence of the frogs and the variety of frogs and the, the the abundance of frogs are very very crucial so this can be tracked through this kind of a device so this is what uh, you know it is not a frog phone and it was uh, you know disclosed or other this the news came through the british ecological society journal called methods in ecology and evolution and it is done in australia by university of south wales and university of canberra frog phone